empty storefronts in Union Square. Westfield Mall owners giving up their lease. And now Cinemark closing its doors permanently inside the Westfield. Sales tax collection data shows District 6, meaning downtown San Francisco, Soma, and Mission Bay, still has not recovered from the pandemic, producing around $7 million less than in 2019. And it's a similar story in District 3 for Union Square, Chinatown, and Fisherman's Wharf. But in District 2, including Pacific Heights, Cow Hollow, and Marina, their sales tax is now generating more than they did before the pandemic. The more food traffic, more people is coming up. Uh, so, yeah, I think we're moving in the right direction. Antonio Solano, manager of Taco Bar in Pacific Heights, says he believes his neighborhood's overall safety and street cleanliness may have something to do with it. People want to feel secure, safe you know, and then continue to do our job, you know, a good servers, good quality of food, and maintain our streets clean, you know, are doing our part. I think the neighborhoods are doing much better than the rest of the city. While Bert Kinnalalar, owner of Troyo Restaurant, also in Pacific Heights, says his second location in Soma did not survive the pandemic, but this one did. I feel grateful that I'm here. And he credits the neighborhood's feeling of safety, along with fewer vacant storefronts, for bringing customers back. Creating a safe environment for people to come in. I think that's, that should be the num number one priority for cities to bring. If we want people to come into the city and spend, bring their family, kids to the city, you know, they're not going to come unless they feel safe. In San Francisco, Lena Howland, ABC 7 News.